I love playing on a peaceful server. I knew I was going to like it. I didn't know I was going to love it. This has been so much fun. And it's only been a few days. But here's what I realized. What's the advantage of mobs? What do mobs get you? Unexpected tragedy? Sure, but isn't that better when it's at the hand of fellow players? Speaking of fellow players, somebody's been busy up on that hill. It's adorable. Look at the look at the azalea bushes. So good. Guess who else? Guess who else did something amazing and beautiful? My BFF. <laughs> he found bamboo. I can start building now. We have bamboo, and then it hit me. We have string trees, cobweb trees. So I made myself another cobweb tree. I have turned this into Kyle's blessed scaffolding monument. <laughs> no, no. Not just a scaffolding farm, a scaffolding monument. I can come around here, chop all these, and every once in a while, uh, every, every once in a while, chop those down. But every time I see them ready to be plucked, I plucketh the strings from the tree. Also, if you couldn't tell from the intro, I've been farming a lot of river saplings. This is one of those trees that when it's in a, when, 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 when they're in a mod that's in a mod pack, ooh, I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I've got I've got my my color block template palette thing down here, uh, and I know I know I want to use river planks. Let's let's make some room here. Let's make some room here. Actually, let me make some more room. He hello, hello, Choki. How are you? Um, <clears throat> I know I want to use river planks, and I think I know what I want to use with it. Do I have another axe on me? I do not because this one is about to break. Uh, iron sticks right okay so i know i want this one so let's break this off yep there we go <laughs> next one broke it so we know we want that so let's re let's replant this little get up over here doesn't have to be doesn't have to be identical to what it was we do a little bit different it's all good Okay. I know we want that. Actually, that one's not going to help us. I think to texture with that, I think spruce is a good option. Dark oak is another good option, but I have not seen dark oak yet. So uh, let's chop this down, see how it looks over there. We may not use all the types, right? We may... Oh, okay, let's get rid of those because I want to... I want these to be next to it. So like, let's do that and that. Oh, that makes for a great texture. That's fantastic. You know what? I bet this is even pretty good too. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's put it down here next to this one, right? That's good. Yeah. And then this as well. Not terrible. Not necessarily something you texture with, but uh, those actually look pretty cool mixed together too. Um, I love both of these trap doors. This is the only trap door I've ever loved the same amount as these. Actually, I take that back. There's another trap door that I don't know if it's in this mod pack. It has like a lighter oak like border and then like a black mesh net interior and I don't see it. So that's okay. That's okay. It just means these are my favorites. Grimwood. Ooh, that looks cool. Anywho, so there's those two. Then we also want one that's maybe a lighter. And I don't know that I'm sold on that being birch. Maybe, maybe these two. Maybe. Right? Maybe that. This is, this is a really good set of wood. It is, it is quite excellent. Ooh, actually, let's see what that looks like. We do that over here. See, it just, it pops. It is good. It is very fine. Ooh, oh, lag, lag. We good? We good? We're good. So I think that's going to be our main look for the wood. 
maybe, you know, maybe we splash in some, some red in there, uh, or maybe some orange. That wouldn't look terrible either every now and then. Ooh. Ooh. Not the, not the sappy. I don't care for the sappy all that much. It's not my jive. Um, oh, that's not, I wanted to see what, there we go. The maple, the maple's a nice pop on there too. So there we go. This is good. This is all really good. And what's great is we have that, right? And, uh, oh, over here, by the way, <laughs> I thought this looks really cool. These are oak and river palisades. Come down here. This is where my, this is where my workshop storage is. It's not the final storage, but it is the workshop storage. Uh, <laughs> bingo, bingo, marble. This is what's missing. Yes. See, see, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It shouldn't be on top though. Cause that, that's, this is more of a, this is more of a foundation structure, right? Ooh. And is there, is there, there is polished marble. Let's see how that looks actually. Let's, whoa, hello. Pick, give it back. Give it back. I need that pick. Yeah. Seaton. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of this for some texturing. Oh man. Now, now, now let's get an idea of what it's like. Like there's, there's a floor in front of it, you know? the walking the stepping sound on it's really good this is great this is what we're going to do so uh I'm gonna, this is going to be our our template that, which i build with i'm <laughs> if you've watched my most recent uh 1.18 video i am totally going against what i said you should do in there but but this is an instance of not me building a whole world this is this is just look look this is just one building and where is it going to go over here right up here okay this is going to be our, our farm area out in here but i thought about it i was like wouldn't it be cool if this actually like had access the house had access to this like like there like this like you step in here there's no door it's just like an opening like this right that would be really cool i'm really looking forward to that so i'm gonna get to working on that and then uh, i'll be back uh, in a bit i also want to do some hunting in this episode and then I got COVID. Yep. Um, so the house is done. Well, the exterior anyways. I still got a little bit to do on the inner interior, but uh, it's done. And it's it's lovely. It's beautiful. I uh, So I had my laptop in bed. And this was one of the few like places I had to play Minecraft that the laptop, laptop could run. So I got a little carried away and did what I never do. I never, I never do so much off camera. I'm so sorry that I was sick. Please forgive me. Do you forgive me, Chokey? Chokey, do you like your new home? Chokey, you do. You do like your new home. Yay. Goody, 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 goody. Okay, so this is the house. Welcome. Uh, this is, this is Cattail Thatch, which is why, uh, well, actually, I don't know if you ever saw in video. I had this massive cattail farm. Cattail is so annoying. Cattail is so annoying. It grows, or rather, it spawns naturally in the world, near and in rivers. But if you want to plant it and grow it manually, it must be tilled soil. Very annoying. Uh, I did end up doing what I said I was going to do. And there's a path down here into the house. We'll end up down there in a second. First, the lawn. I've always wanted to do this. Most people, you know, do it with wool or uh, terracotta, I think. Maybe. Yeah, maybe terracotta. Where they do like the striped, like they're freshly. Hey, 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 you're ruining my shot. Get out of here, fly. Get out of here, fly. Uh, I did it with moss, which I've seen done but also azalea bushes. And I wasn't sure how the azalea bushes were going to look over here. I can't explain it, but I kind of love it. I don't know why. Something about it just adds a neat texture. So anyways, 
That's the yard. Uh, we've got some birch leaves for some decoration. It needed some. It needed something other than green and green and brown and white. We need something poppy. But I but I tried blue. Blue flowers didn't work well. This is th these flowers pop. Ooh, these flowers pop. What kind of flowers are these actually? Sunny marigolds. Uh, and then the nice a nice bit of deep slate to also kind of. Whoops, lag, lag. Don't kick me, server. What are you doing? Okay, we're good. Uh, the deep slate helps pull it together, gives it a foundation as well as for the fireplace, which is, or the, the chimney, which is great as well. Got our own little doormat, our own flickering doormat. An orange door. I wanted a red door, but the, I don't know why I was looking for in my inventory as if it was going to be there. But the, uh, the red tree, whatever it's called, that door is ugly. Here's the kitchen. As for me and my house, we will serve sandwiches. Yes, we will. Here's my sandwich rack. I come by, grab a sandwich, and when I'm hungry, I take a little eat. We've got the first edition of the Peaceful Times. Chocobo craze sweeps the nation. So funny. Winter's putting together this newspaper. Yep, you like it, don't you, Chokey? Is that your cousin on the photo on the front cover? Oh, there's the big sandwich. This is like the, the holy grail of sandwiches. I'd like to make a sandwich that reaches all the way to the roof. We'll get there. I keep all my ingredients for my sandwiches in here. And extras in here. Still working out what I want for the perfect sandwich. But for now, this'll do. Whatever's in that. I can't remember. Got a little table. We can come eat at and have a drink. It's so cozy in here. I love, I love working on smaller builds. This is my favorite one I've ever done. I feel like there's more There's more stuff I can do like over in here with decorative stuff. But I haven't figured out what yet. Like I've got I've to explore the mods a little bit more. Oh, the real treasure was the sandwiches we ate along the way. Then we can go upstairs into the bedroom, which is much less decorated. Uh, that's technically from the roof. But I was like, you know what? Eh, it kind of looks like an interior decorative piece. Let's keep it. Dreams are for entertaining you between sandwiches. Um, then we got a little back balcony. Not really, well, not a balcony, but a back terrace with some flowers. We'll show you the backside here in a second. But first, the basement. First, the basement. Also, we got the cow mantle and a sword that I totally didn't steal from anyone. Welcome to the basement. Look at how organized I am so early in the game. Aren't you proud of me, everyone? Aren't you proud? I'm going to decorate it up a bit more. We're not going to have the dirt walls for long. We're going to get that decorated. Um, and then down here, uh, oh, we've got my uh, got my, uh, my my bone meal maker over here. Do you hear it? So I told you I wanted to go hunting, right? Well, for hunting, I need feathers. And I think I've got a good bit now, actually. Uh, 23. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. But I still need more. So I've got some pigeons cooped up in there. And so what we do is... Now, here's the problem with pigeons I've discovered. If I just stand here and throw these, they will make their way out. If I stand up above and throw them, they will make their way out. You know why? You know why? Because they can fly. Pigeons can fly. Did you know pigeons can fly? Pigeons can fly. So what I do is I put it in here. Close the door and... and now I get a bunch of baby pigeons. I also get their eggshells, which acts as bone meal as well. So that's fun. Then I kill them and I get the I get the get the meat. I get the meat for I'll, I'll make some pigeon sandwiches later. Uh I also get the feathers to make bows. But this is This is way more eggs than I'm ever going to need. I need to go share the love.
Okay, this backfired. I dropped the I dropped the andesite and I don't have silk touch, so I can't I can't grab the stone. Yes, aha! Uh, no 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 get back down in there! Get back down in there! Get down, get down, get down, get down. Yes. Why do they fly away? See that? They keep flying away so fast! Why do they do that? No! That's your home now! Maybe if I like dig a dig a builder dig a bigger hole. Okay, close it. Close it. jumping so much. Oh, he's got those beacons. Okay, you know what? Mm. Get down. How do you get down there? Where's the... Where's the basement entrance? All right, Winter. Have your secrets. Oh, there we go. Here's the back side of the house. There's the, the the big the big viewing window by the by the little breakfast nook. All right, so I need to make a bow. I've got 48 arrows made. Let's make ourselves a bow. We also need to go grab. Oh, let's put up these. Uh, put up the evidence. Let's grab ourselves a couple of sandwiches to have along the way. Well, let's just take all four. All right. And now the hunt begins. Raw bird. Excellent. Good first hunt. Good first hunt. <gasps> what you look at that. Whoa, I've never seen a white one. I was gonna make a joke about it being my white whale. <clears throat> um, seems too obvious now. Can I? Oh, is he attacking the fish? He's eating the fish. 
All right, well, if he's hostile to them, I don't feel as bad. I just want to see what happens. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! They're just looking on in awe, or they're laughing at me. I don't know how much health they have. I feel a little bad. But, like, we have to see what they drop, right? But I can't go get it if he does drop it. Because I'd have to kill that one, too, because surely he would come get me. Surely he's aggroed. Oh, I don't, I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh, okay, that one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. I fat fingered it. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Nice. Nice whale. Nice whale. Nice whale. What do we get? Is there, is there whale meat? Wait, where did my, where did my axe go? Did I drop my axe too? I was trying to switch to my axe. Hold the phone. Where did my axe go? I knew I shouldn't have done this. Magic whales stole my axe. Where is it? Okay. Good whale. Nice whale. Where did my axe go? I pressed one to switch to the axe. Somehow I pressed Q and I threw my bow and my axe. Where did it go? Hi. Can I come get the XP? We good? Just coming out here to look for my axe. You're fine right there. Oh, did I put it in my backpack somehow? No. Oh, there it is. What? What? Did I pick it? Thank you, Magic Whale. Thank you for your forgiveness and for my axe. Well, I'll never have anything timed better than that in a video.